So Whitmore is a beautiful area. It's both the country club and the communities around it where you have beautiful neighborhoods, gorgeous homes that will back up to the golf course, and it is a very nice community. And if you love golf, they have two full 18 hole courses. And I can kind of speak to Whitmore. My husband's a full-time golf member there. He loves golf, so I don't really see him in the summer because any chance if he's not he's working, golf. he's gotta be on that golf course. They have men's leagues, different types of men's leagues. I know some are Wednesday nights, some are Tuesdays. They do a lot of golf tournaments on Mondays for or people that are looking to raise money for different nonprofits mm -hmm. or you know they kind of keep Mondays for those types of events and then they have women's leagues junior leagues you name it they've kind of got the golf thing wrapped up the really cool thing too in Whitmore is that you have a lot of different styles I mean I know there's a lot of beautiful atrium ranches right on the golf course but if you want a story and a half or a two story that doesn't back up to the golf course Absolutely. you still have options if you want the golf course there if not you can pick and choose yeah there's several streets that don't back up to the golf course but there's still beautiful backyards mature trees it's definitely a more established neighborhood. When you move into new construction, you don't get the mature trees. That's yeah, and I know lot. like there's a couple lots in Whitmore I know that are like either new or built or they're being built right now, but like yes. the whole area is a lot more established than like a new build community. Yeah, I think they're down to one or two lots being left that you could actually build on. Yeah. And they are, I think they're pretty close to the actual country club itself. Hey, welcome back to the video. I'm Jacob. I'm Mindy. So today we're talking about Whitmore, the stuff going on there, stuff you want to know if you're moving to the area or considering this community. And by the way, if you're moving to this part of town, send us an email, send us a text. If you want help with that process, buying a new house here, we are practicing real estate agents. Would love to hear from our clients on YouTube. Absolutely. So Whitmore is part of Weldon Spring, like that's the area that it's in, but it's kind of like its own like mini community just because mm -hmm. you have the, the golf courses right there, you have the country club and it kind of just like adds a little bit like of a different style compared mm -hmm. to just the rest of Weldon Spring because it's such a cool community and it's just like a social atmosphere that you have from the country club that you just wouldn't have if you were in another Weldon Spring neighborhood. And I think that's a draw for a lot of people. I know that, you know, we've been members for a couple of years and we just love the people that we've met over there. So long term when, you know, my husband wanting to be on the golf course all the time, that's kind of a goal of ours is to move in. It's nice because it is like such a community feel and you have a lot of options to choose from with the houses. You, you have like a couple of different choices to pick from. You do. You kind of have your standalone like estate type homes that are on the bigger tracts of um, land. I don't think you're going to get like an acre of land in there, but you have some really nice oversized lots. And then you have, a, they kind of call them cluster homes that are a smaller floor plan. And it actually includes kind of that like you're part of an association where your lawn and your snow shoveling when that's needed, those come into play. You kind of pay into a little HOA that takes care of that for you. So you can really just kind of enjoy yeah, you have a lot of options. Yeah, exactly. And then they also have attached villas. Those are smaller. A lot of those are sold off market. People are like listening, like ready to jump. People kind of know if you live in the neighborhood, you can usually find somebody that's interested without it ever even hitting Yeah, the that's the thing. Like it's definitely like a close knit community. And yeah. plus with the villas, like there's not that many to begin with. Right. So it's like when one comes up for sale, it kind of, it kind of goes it gets fast. scooped up really fast. Yeah, it definitely is a higher priced area compared to some other places. Yeah. You know, I mean like realistically, you might be looking at, you know, upper 400s, maybe 500,000 to get in. And I mean, you'll see homes that go up to $3 million in Whitmore, like, like upper Whitmore, that's where you're going to see see like the two, three, four million yeah. dollar homes within Whitmore, like all of that's gonna be upper Whitmore. Yeah, beautiful homes. There's a lot of beautiful homes throughout. Mm -hmm. The thing about Whitmore, the streets I feel like are really quiet. So you feel pretty safe with like your kids being out on their bikes. And plus one and... end of it is gated too. Yes. So one so basically one side um, you can get in like there's there's no restrictions right. on it, but on the other half of Whitmore you have to have a, a code a to, to get into the pass. gate. Yeah. The side that that's up to Pittman, I think. Is. Yes. I feel like too, like some people like want to have a house on the golf course and some people like don't want it backing up to it, but they want to be close to it. Right. You know what I mean? Some people are afraid of the golf balls. Coming through, through the window. Windows. Yeah. When I've been on the course before, my husband's like, oh, that's one that unfortunately gets a lot of windows taken out. Yeah. So you kind of know strategically where you're at on the particular course that if you're, you're in more of a hazardous zone, I guess. Yeah. And some... Like if you're near the tee box, you're usually pretty safe. 
And I mean, some like will have pools too, like right on the golf oh, course. You know what I mean? Like summertime, yeah, I'm sure that, but like there's got to be some crazy yeah, stories with that there's too. There's some, there's some beautiful pools that line the golf course, 100. percent And some gotta go swim with like helmets during the summertime or something. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like kids, get your helmets on if yeah. you're going swimming. So Whitmore right now is kind of going through some changes because mm -hmm. they just got bought out by a new company. Concert Golf Partners, they own several golf clubs in Florida. As a member, everyone is super excited to kind of see the new energy that they're going to bring to the club and some changes that they are hoping to to make. I know a couple things they just want to get the members more involved. They want to get people at the clubhouse, I think a little bit more than what it was. Families, kids, everybody. They had a little Q&A the other night and everyone brought their family up and there was food and cocktails and just kind of bringing in that social setting, everybody getting to know everybody. They do a really good job of that. And in the summer, it's a very much a golf cart community. The people that live within Whitmore, people drive around you know, just hang out all the time. Yeah, people love the golf carts. I mean, like if you want to ride around to your friend's house who lives there or just go over to the clubhouse in the pool, like you can ride your golf cart and, and get around Whitmore. Yeah, the one thing about like Whitmore that is like, I think personally, just from being over there, I don't live in Whitmore currently, but the rolling, it's just like kind of hilly mm -hmm. and it's just, it's beautiful. Nice scenery. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's like a nice trees. like landscape. It's, it's very, it's a mature community neighborhood. They started, I think, building Whitmore in the early 90s. Maybe the late 80s, but I think it was more in the early 90s when they yeah. when they started Whitmore. So the nice thing about Whitmore too is that if you love, you know, the amenities that come with having a country club right there, you mm -hmm. have some beautiful amenities, you have the pools, the tennis courts, pickleball courts. Pickleball is another thing that has become very popular. I know. It's like I never heard anything about pickleball up until like a year or two ago. Pickleball. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So they, I don't know if they converted a couple of the tennis courts or recently maybe added a pickleball, pickleball court. Courts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's something that's a lot of fun. I'm much better at pickleball than golf. I can say that. <laughs> you want to talk about like the inside too? Like, I don't know what the, like the actual Yeah, they have a detached like standalone workout facility and it's over 4,000 square feet, I believe, of gym equipment. There's a there's a upstairs and a downstairs. Small sauna in there and both men's and women's locker rooms. Great little workout facility. And then you have your pickleball and tennis courts and I think a basketball court. And then currently the pools are, you have the lower pool that is fully open. And then the upper pool, about a year ago, there was a water main break and it during the construction damage. process, yeah. like yeah, renovations during, and then some, something. And so it kind of, something happened to that pool. I think it floated it or water got underneath it. So they do have plans though. They're in process of building a beautiful new pool. And I think some of the facilities like the restrooms and stuff are going to get a complete overhaul. And then long-term, I think they're going to redo the lower pool too after it's kind of going to happen in stages from yeah. my understanding. So the thing with Whitmore, since they did just get bought out, basically like if you're moving into this area or looking at becoming a member, that's going to be changing. I'll let Mindy talk about this because her family is a member there. I'm not. But basically, between the golf memberships and the social memberships, there's going to be some changes there. Yeah. From my understanding, we used to have, like, my husband golfed all the time. So he kind of had the full golf membership. And then me and the kids, we were more social. I think they're going to kind of be going away with that. They still are going to offer, like, social memberships. But I think if you're a family, you kind of have to do like a more, like the whole family is going to be included in the full-time golf. I don't, I think they're going to try and structure it though, like financially to where it's not a huge jump for that. Yeah. Kind of so changing like the structure of like, like how the memberships break down, but also yeah. like the cost of it mm -hmm. too. And one thing about, I think most of the golf communities in, I think in, for sure in St. Charles, and I think it might also play true in some of the St. Louis county ones you get kind of a break if you're a younger member and then like once you get to 40 plus that's where it kind of becomes yeah like, i know some time. clubs have yeah. like breakdowns between like 20 to 30 20 to 30, 30, to 30 to and then 30 and then 30 to 40 it like goes up as you get your, older your last cut off yeah so Whitmore is a really cool area, but it's also really central. So, I mean, like you're very close to Route 94, mm -hmm. you're close to St. Peter's, you're close to Cottleville, got a lot of stuff going on. You're really close to the Page Extension. Mm -hmm. It's located technically in Weldon Springs, and which is your Francis House School District. And I will say like you're two minutes from the, the Main Street Cottleville area. Yeah, it's and a really cool area. Yeah, I'm not sure you could actually technically get there on your golf cart, but some people may try. Yeah, that'd be like a fun thing to try out. You know, like, <laughs> I don't know if I want my kids trying that. 
So. No, yeah, because that's like you have to go over the over over ninety four. Yes, ninety four is like on like mid. Because I'm, I'm thinking like Mid Rivers Mall is probably like the only. It's way pretty you, busy you could. too. Yeah, yeah. There is kind of a back way somewhere I think to cut okay. through. Sneaky. Yeah, I'm just not exactly sure how that's mapped out. Yeah, that's but. funny. No, I think that was good. Um. Do you think you have enough? Yeah, and I think we definitely do. Yeah, solid video. Yeah. yeah, we're done. This is fun. Yeah, so Whitmore is a really beautiful area, like the country club itself and the amenities there, but just like the neighborhoods, whether you're on the golf course or you're not, it's gorgeous. Again, if you're moving to the area, if you want some help with that process, buying a house, whatever it is, send us an email, send us a text, whatever works for you. That's what we're here for. So thank you for watching. We appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for your time. That was good. <laughs> is the audio on right now or did you show? It's on. Oh, okay. yeah. I gotcha. I gotcha. I'm sure my husband will critique me a thousand different ways when you see something. I'm going to make you look so good. I you hope put it so. on YouTube and be like, look, Josh, here look, I am. I'm, <laughs> I'm not flipping my hair like you always tell me I am, you turd.